These are the top six YouTube mistakes every beginner YouTuber has to avoid at all costs. If you do not avoid these mistakes, you are not going to see your channel grow as it's supposed to grow. Before I even share these mistakes with you, let me share with you my personal experience or my personal encounter with these mistakes because I have made them when I was starting out. I have started uploading YouTube videos onto my channel since September 2020. And ever since, I've been seeing rapid growth, but at the point when I fell for these mistakes that I'm about to share with you, my channel stopped growing until I avoided those mistakes. So I'm going to share these mistakes with you and not just that, I'm going to share with you how you can deal with them, how you can avoid them so that you can see your channel grow very well and you can start making the money that you have to make on YouTube. So let's start with the mistake number one. The first YouTube mistake that beginners mostly make is to do sub for sub. Now sub for sub simply means you coming together as a group of YouTubers, then one person will send a link to the other person and the other person will subscribe. Then you also subscribe to the other person's YouTube channel. So it's like you are exchanging subscribers and that thing, it has a negative effect on your YouTube channel. Before I even explain that, let me add this one to it. Another thing that you are equally doing when it comes to subscription to your channel is that you shouldn't be giving your links to just any random person to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Do not be sending links to people on your WhatsApp platform to subscribe to your YouTube channel just because they are your friends, your family. No, it doesn't mean you should send the links to them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. That attitude, it has a negative effect on your YouTube channel. Now, let me explain it to you a little bit into detail, right? So what happened on YouTube is that if you give people the link to your YouTube channel for them to subscribe to you and they subscribe, that is perfect. They subscribe to your channel, that's good, right? You're having the numbers. But then there's a mistake. There's an effect, a negative effect of that on your YouTube channel. And this is the mistake. Pay close attention, right? So what happened is that when they are subscribed to your YouTube channel and they are not interested in the content that you are providing on a YouTube channel, they are not going to watch your videos, all right? So what will happen is that YouTube, it's an algorithm that is being programmed to handle everything on a platform. So once these people who are subscribed to your YouTube channel, they are not watching your videos, they are not liking your videos, they are not interacting with the content that you are providing on a channel, then YouTube will assume, the algorithm will assume that you are not producing any good content for people to actually watch and learn something from. So YouTube will then stop promoting your channel. Do you get me? And if YouTube stop promoting your channel, you know what that means, right? A lot of people are not going to see your videos. So it will be like you are uploading a video for yourself alone because the people that you gave the link to, to subscribe to your YouTube channel, they are not watching. So it's only you yourself that is going to watch your video. And that is not going to make you get views and not to talk about getting subscribers. The next mistake that you should avoid is inconsistent uploading. Now, I fell for this mistake. I'm not going to lie to you. When I started uploading videos onto my channel, I was very, very, very consistent with it. Like almost every two days you see a content on my YouTube channel. So I've been monitoring the whole process during that period. So I've, I've seen that my channel kept growing very fast, 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 fast. I was like, wow, wow. Then it got to a point I was busy at school. I was having exams here and there. So I stopped uploading on that consistent basis. And what I realized was my channel became stagnant. It wasn't going up. It wasn't going down. It was just there. There's no progress coming from my YouTube channel. The subscribers base is just there the views is not going up or coming down. So I could say there was no progress at all on my channel again. And after my exams, I started uploading videos again. Then I realized that, oh, I'm getting subscribers and my views is also going up. Then I was like, oh, okay, fine. It means because I pause uploading, that's how come my channel is not performing as, as it's supposed to, right? So as a beginner YouTuber, try as much as possible to have an upload schedule, right? If it's going to be two times a week, let it be that two times a week. Do not be missing it up and down like that, right? Of course, if you've grown your channel up to a point and you feel like you're having a lot of loose on you and you want to maybe give in some days, that's perfectly fine. But as a, as a beginner YouTuber, please and please try as much as possible to always have an upload schedule. Don't miss it, right? Having an upload schedule will make you grow your YouTube channel faster, right? 
So straight up to point number three, the third mistake that new or beginner YouTubers should probably avoid is producing poor quality video or poor video quality. Please and please try as much as possible to avoid producing a video of low quality. When I say a video of low quality, it can just be part of the video. For instance, you are having a video which is having a shaky camera. Let's assume you are recording yourself in a video and the camera is not stable. That video is not going to be of a high quality one, right? And if you have a video which the audio, which is very, very important component of the video is creepy, very bad. Trust me, you are not going to get people to even stay longer on your video to listen to whatever you want to say. You may, you might have the best message that to solve people's problem out there. But then trust me, if you do not have a good audio on your video, a lot of people are not going to stay there and watch your video to the end, right? And myself, I fell for that, right? So if you go back to my YouTube channel, you check my old videos, you realize that I was having some kind of creepy voice, I mean, audio on my videos. And as of now, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to boast of faith to say my audio is of a higher quality, but then it's way better than the previous videos that you see on my YouTube channel. I mean, the old, old videos, because at that time, I wasn't even having a microphone or anything, right? And I don't know anything about audio processing, right? But for now, I use Adobe Podcast Enhancer to process my audio. That works a little bit better than the previous one. I'm going to leave a video in the description to show you how I actually polish my audio in my recent videos that you've been seeing. The next mistake that you should avoid is neglecting SEO. You shouldn't neglect it at all. SEO simply stands for search engine optimization. Now, when you talk about search engine optimization, it simply means using specific keywords in your video. Maybe when you're recording the video, you mention or you talk about something, which is a keyword that you want to include in your video title, description, and a tag. So you do talk about that keyword in a video. So all this thing has to be part of your planning process. So you do not just stand up and record a video anyhow. You have to plan everything before you record. So you know that, so you'll be using this keyword. So in your description and your title. So whilst you are recording a video, you try to talk about that as well. Using the right keyword in your videos, in the title, tags, and the description, what it does is it ranks your video. Assuming somebody will just come onto YouTube, you know YouTube is a search engine, right? So when somebody comes onto YouTube and a person search for a specific stuff, the person can quickly locate your video. And once the person has been able to locate your video and provided you are providing a good quality content and a solution to whatever the person is searching for, then the person is going to stick to your, you know, your channel. There's a higher probability of the person sticking to your channel to consume your content. And once the person kind of find your channel very useful, the person will definitely subscribe to your channel and become part of you, right? Now on to the fifth point, lack of audience engagement. This is one mistake most beginner YouTubers make. If you go back to my channel, you'll see that most of the comments on my videos have replied to them. What happens over here is that if you are not engaging with your audience in a comment session or on a community post or whatsoever, they are not going to feel welcome onto your channel. If you are engaging with them, replying to their comments, giving hearts, liking their comments, you know, on your videos, it's going to give them that feeling of belonging, not meaning they belong to your community, they belong to your tribe on YouTube, right? If you do that, you are welcoming them, you are being so nice to them, all right? So that's one important stuff you shouldn't joke with, okay? Without your audience, you are just an individual posting content on YouTube. So your audience, they matters a lot. So as you are watching this video right now, leave a comment below in the comment section and see if I'll reply to you or not, right? I love to keep my audience engaged. Like I, I want to interact with you and know exactly what you want then I provide with you exactly what you want. So if let's just run a quick test, you can leave a comment below anything at all and I'm going to reply to you. Talking about the last point, which is the point six, this one, try as much as possible to avoid it because it is not only going to cripple your growth on YouTube, it is also going to affect you in terms of making money on YouTube. And at a point, it may even result into your channel getting deleted. What am I talking about? This mistake is made by copying others on YouTube. If you are a beginner YouTuber, you shouldn't come onto YouTube with a mentality of copying somebody's video, then pasting it onto your YouTube channel. That action is going to suck you from the YouTube you know, platform, right? I'm not trying to say, do not pick inspiration from other people's content. Fine, you can pick inspiration, but do not 
copy everything directly and just come onto your channel and paste it over there you can pick inspiration then try to find your own way and produce the content yourself let it be original now if you read the book still like an artist yes that book is going to teach you a lot about how you can go about all this stuff to come up with something genuine something very very authentic right let me just share a basic stuff with you right so when you come to youtube and you see somebody's video which is performing very well and you also feel like making a content like that this is what you have to do instead of copying the person's content right L watch the person's video to the end pay close attention and see what the person did right and what a person couldn't touch on if there is some part a person couldn't touch on and you feel like you can touch on that part very well then that is an opportunity for you go ahead make a video and explain way way more than the person right go ahead provide more value than the person's video you've watched that way you are producing your own you know original content you are not stealing somebody's content just raw like that okay you are picking idea from someone and at a point you can even give shout out to the person that oh, this video has been inspired by so so and so that is perfectly fine okay so so these are my top six mistakes that every beginner youtuber has to avoid at all costs if you actually want to grow on youtube and make money you have to avoid this six mistakes at all costs i will see you in the next video and if you like a content like this please go ahead and hit that like button on the video and also subscribe for more videos right if you have any suggestion to about the content you want to see just leave a comment below and i'll provide you with whatever you want right i'll be in the comment section waiting to see your suggestions and stuff see you in the next video